Hey, this is John from Alloy211. In this video, I will be removing the firing pin and hammer spring assembly from the Beretta Model 21A 22 caliber semi-automatic handgun. This was a video that was suggested in the comments on one of my other videos on the disassembly of this gun. So thank you to the viewers who suggested it and hopefully it helps you out and hopefully it didn't come way too late for it to be of any help to you. Before we get started, let's go over the tools that you will need for this. And I don't normally do this, but this is an important one because you may not have one of the tools that you need. You will need a 332nd punch, a 16th inch punch, which if you have a gunsmith punch set, you will have. But what you probably won't have that you need is a one millimeter punch. And that's part of why it took me a little while to get this done because I broke off my other 16th millimeter punch trying to remove the firing pin well, firing pin, pin, roll pin. Now, if you look, here is your hole for your firing pin, roll pin, which my 16th inch punch, which is about 1.5 millimeters, just fit in. So I thought, okay, well, I can drive this out. Drove it a little bit, little bit, little bit, and then all of a sudden, the punch just broke off, which then required me to drive the pin out further, pull it out through the top with a pair of pliers, which in order to drive the pin out further, I had to use a Torx bit that I had on hand, drove it through to where I could pull the pin out, pulled the pin out, then I'd take the Torx bit back in the top and drive the small piece of punch that was in the bottom out, and it was a big pain in the butt. So before I made a video on it, I wanted to make sure I had the right tools at hand so I wasn't using a Torx bit and God knows what else I could find to get that out. And so you don't have to. See, I screwed things up so you don't have to. The cheapest way that I found to buy or get these small little punches was to buy a wrist watch repair kit, wrist watch band repair kit on Amazon. This one's about $10. Comes with a bunch of wrist watch pins, this things for wrist watches, also for wrist watches. This is a cool little press thing for like pressing the pins out of the band. That's pretty cool. I've tried to figure out some use for this. I've not quite done that yet. These little offset tweezers, which tweezers are really important for a lot of this little gun stuff because it makes a lot of things easier if you have some nice tweezers, especially some little angled ones. This little fancy hammer. And then of course, our one, one millimeter punch, uh, point 0.9 and a point 0.8 millimeter punch, I believe. So, like I said, this kit's about $10, and if you need to repair watch bands or push small pins out on firearms, it's definitely worth it. And there are a lot of other little things I could use in that kit for different stuff. Maybe you can't, so just go and get yourself a one millimeter punch. But if you can use the other stuff in the kit, might as well buy the whole kit. So, go ahead and start by getting this firing pin out of the slide. For this, you will only need your one millimeter punch. Now there is a firing pin spring here, so when you drive the, the pin out, don't pull your punch out, leave it there. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and flip it over to the bottom. Let's zoom in a bit. Here, we'll take our punch, put it in our roll pin hole, in the center of the screen maybe. And I'm gonna use this fancy little hammer I got with the kit and just drive it out. Over the hole does help. There we go. Now it's driven out. There's our pin, set that off to the side. And now our punch is holding the firing pin in place. So just use this to push that in, pull the punch out. There's our firing pin. As you can see the, oh, maybe, there you go. Tip of the firing pin is square. And you have this notch that that is where that roll pin slides into in the slide. And then you have your firing pin spring. Putting it back together is pretty much just like how I took it apart. What we'll do first is we will slide the spring onto the firing pin. There you go. And then we will slide that back into the slide with the notch over towards where the pin goes in. Go ahead and push this in. 
with our other punch. And then you'll want to look to make sure, although I guess I should use the other end of this punch, or actually I should probably use one that's not all mangled on the end. Push that in. Then check and see. Let's see if I can hold this here. If you look, you can see that the tip of the firing pin is angled a little bit. That means that your slot on the side that the pin goes in is also angled. So you may want to take some tweezers and just straighten it up. Uh, let's see, I can't really tell if that straightened it up a whole lot. Yeah, it did a little. I mean, you don't have to have it perfectly straight, but a little straight is a lot better than a little cockeyed. That's still very cockeyed. There we go. Now take your pin, stick it in the top, like so. And then using the oh, block, maybe get on camera so you can see what I'm doing. Put your pin's in place. And just tap that roll pin into place. Probably a lot easier to do if I were left-handed, but that's okay. Okay, there you go. Once you get it far enough down in that it'll hold the firing pin into place, you don't have to keep pushing, pushed in with the punch. You can just go ahead and do that. Now, use your nylon side. Be real loud. Chew the hell of that thing up. Because you'd much rather chew up the head of this little crappy hammer than your slide. Or say maybe put scratches down the side of your slide trying to fix your screw up. So anyway, I just pound on it. Um, anyway, there you go. Firing pins back into place. We take that out. You do want to make sure this isn't dirty inside there, although, let's go ahead and scratch the punch on the side of it too. Um, although, I noticed there really wasn't a lot of dirt in this firing pin channel. I think that's part of the way that this firing pin is designed in a way, because it seems to not get much of any dirt inside it, and since 22s are really, really dirty, I was impressed, because I shot a lot of rounds through this. Okay, now we've done that one. Let's move to the slightly more complicated. <clears throat> hammer spring assembly removal. Now, like I said, this is already to a certain level of uh, disassembled. You know, just took the grips off and the slide, so it's not that complicated. What we'll go ahead and do first is remove the safety. So, first things first, you have to cock the hammer back in order to remove the safety. Flip it over. Now, when you pull your safety out, there is a small little detent with a spring right there acts on this pin so as you pull this out which you'll probably need to push it out with this punch there you go Ooh. you want to be really careful which I got lucky there I got really lucky there get this up by the camera so hopefully you can see that see that little detent you can just see it there just below that pin get this punch so you can see All right Right there, right there. That little detent there. When I pull the safety out, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay. This little detent right here. Now you don't have to take this out. You can just leave it there. There's a spring down inside there. But you definitely want to be careful not to let this thing just pop out because this thing will get lost and it's hard to find. So let's go ahead and set that there. The safety's out. Once we've done that, go ahead and decock it. And that is something you really, really want to do. You don't want to forget to do that. It's very important. And go ahead and disconnect this spring. And what I do here is I'll pop this up just a little bit, <clears throat> just a little bit, not letting it come all the way out. Because if you let it come the pin for the trigger bar come all the way out, then you have to put the spring back on there. So I'll just pull it out just enough that I can then lift this up and rotate it down. And once I get it rotated down, I will push it back into place 
just so that I don't have to get that spring back on there because that's a pain in the butt. So let's not do that. Once you've done that, come over to this side, pop this little spring off, maybe, there you go, pop that spring off. And while you're here, you can actually take and push this pin out. It's got the spring that retains the trigger bar. So we'll go ahead and just push that out. Go ahead and just keep that spring on there. Set that over there. And then <clears throat> this will come out. Now you only have your hammer, your uh, ejector, and your spring. So go ahead and push these pins out. You'll need that one millimeter punch again to push the pins for the ejector out. And they should just push out pretty easily. Unless you're using a 16th inch punch and then they won't push out very well at all. There we go. And that just comes out. And now grab our block again, wherever I set that. And you need to pound, pound, don't want to say pound. Let's say drive, drive your hammer axis pin out. It's also that where your safety detent acts on. Get that to where it will actually drive out. There we go. And now take your 332nd punch once you get it down in there pretty good. And just go ahead and should drive pretty much right out. There we go. That's out. Now you can remove your hammer. Let's go ahead and move this. There's your hammer pin. Now you just have to take your hammer spring out. Grab a pair of tweezers. Now I'll just grab a pair of tweezers and I'll grab the yoke of the hammer spring here. And just lift it up. And then kind of wiggle this thing out. And there you go. Hammer springs out. And that's all you need to do to take that out. Um, the one thing I will say, but you might want to be careful of, when you're pounding the access pin for the hammer out, these might want to come out. And if that happens, then these springs will just shoot out. And that's also a pain in the butt. I wonder how I might know that. Okay, so after a relatively smooth disassembly, the reassembly took a turn for the frustrating and stupid, so I just decided to start over again and had to take apart what I'd actually put back together, so that way it wouldn't be so frustrating and stupid. So here we go. We're going to start with the hammer spring. Make sure you have it oriented the right way and put it in through the side, like so, kind of. There we go. I'm just holding it with both my thumb and my index finger. That kind of helps to, oh, let's not do that. Uh, kind of helps to keep it square as you're putting it in there. And then I'm gonna use these tweezers as much because I'm doing this out in front of me and I'm gonna do something silly like that, like knock it out of place. It's really not that difficult to get in there. I'm just making it look a lot harder than it is because I'm doing it on camera. Then once you get in there, there you go. Now if you look, it's down in there on both sides. Okay, you're good. Now let's go ahead and put, let's put our, that sear block. I think that's what that is, yeah. Put that back in there. And that gets held in with this pin from, from this side. You want to make sure you have your spring oriented the right way because it'll go like that. So, and you want to make sure you have your block in there the right way, or you can just drop it out. Why not? Don't don't drop it out. That's not going to help you get it done. There we go. So, and that just slides down in there. 
whenever you can get it in place. There we go. Now that's in place, kind of. Although I'm going to go ahead and move this out of here because otherwise it can be a pain. So just kind of do that. There we go. Okay, and now that's in place. Now we're going to go ahead and put our hammer in next. As you put your hammer in, you want to make sure you have slot in the hammer right there centered with the hammer spring. Just pop down in there like so. And then you go ahead and take your pin on the side here. Make sure that, you know, make sure you've got everything lined up before you drive your pin in. There you go. You'll know you'll know when it's in place because the hammer will won't move. So, and again, you want to be gentle with this. You don't want things to come off. There we go. Make sure you don't get that spring underneath there. Okay. Now that is driven in there quite well. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. And go ahead and flip it over. Put this spring into place. Sometimes it'd be easier if I had more fingers. There we go. And now that's in place. And now I will cock the hammer back just slightly so I can get this block in place. I should be able to get it in place now. There we go. I'm going to use my pin to, or my punch, to line this up. There we go, it's lined up. I'm gonna take my pen, stick it in whoop, to this side. Hopefully that's still lined up. This can be a big pain in the butt to get lined up. Oh, I guess I had it lined up there. I should just start. Using that punch to keep it lined up makes it a lot easier. Like I said, they can be a real pain. And do the same thing here. You don't really need to pound them in so much. They actually kind of push in pretty easily, but see, I'm just pushing them in with the punch. But when you first have to start them, that tapping really helps to get them in. So now those are in. Now, in order to put the safety in, we have to have the hammer back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the trigger bar back in place there we go. okay and just like I did before we're gonna pop up the front of this just slightly not so much that the spring comes out of place just enough that we can rotate it back into place so there we go now we can rotate that up click that in that's in place now I have to dig the stupid little spring out from underneath it No. 
Or you could be paying closer attention to what you're doing while you're doing it and make sure you don't do this. But there you go. Make sure that pins all the way in. It's all the way in, we're good. And now we just have to put the safety back in. In order to do that, we have to cock the hammer. So, and the safety goes in from this side. And again, remember that little tiny detent there. You can see it by my thumb. Don't forget about that guy. I slide that down. And use a punch to push the detent in. There we go. And that's back in place. And I guess since we have our slide over here, we can put our slide back on and take safety off. That's, well, let's zoom out a tad. And that is now functional. So, that is how you change the, well, that's how you take out the firing pin and the hammer spring in the Beretta Model 21A. And after a fair amount of frustration, I finally got it done. So, I hope that's helpful. If not, let me know. If there's something else you'd like to see me do, let me know that too. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you watch some, some of my other videos and enjoy those too, I'd really appreciate if you yeah, subscribed. And if I could just not stumble over my words for once. So thanks and have a great day.